Hello Cabbage fans, we're at the Tank Museum today to have a little look at the South West Model Show 2023. Let's get into it. As we make our way down into the main area, you're presented with the South Coast Modelers. Now these are remote controlled ships here, and these are all scratch built, except for the hull on the ones on the left. But all scratch built from wood and fiberglass. These are pretty impressive to be fair. Let's have a little look at this uh, U-boat here. And then this chap here, he's got a Spitfire and some other models, and he scratch builds his from complete, but they aren't remote control. These guys here are from the Khan Model Club, and these are all scratch builds again, but the vehicles were 3D prints. So they were kind of 3D print models, and they're kind of bolted together by 3D gizmo, and then painted. They're really awesome. This is all for sale here because he was going to do a 1 to 35 diorama, but he uh, thought against it. So that's for sale. Some more here. Let's have a little look. All the ones at the red tables are from the Khan Model Club. So again, this is all 3D printed. This Paul the Alien from the movie Paul. Completely 3D printed, amazing. Here we have the Early Risers Model Club and they were painting and building. And the guy in the middle was putting the tracks together, which looked quite a laborious task. I thought Kobe ones were laborious, but he had to kind of put two together, glue them. It looks pretty labor intensive. But again, some incredible models, Matilda being built as well. Paul Viking Model Club here. I'll put all the guys' details in the description below so you can check them out on Facebook or whatever they use. Again, a whole plethora of models and dioramas. The grass on this one looks so cool. Next up is the Mendip Modelers. They had a lot of tanks, so this kind of caught my eye. And also some smaller scale vehicles, which we'll have a little zoom into in a second. Here we have the smaller scales, so there's some like, Roman soldiers there. It's really cool, I love these little smaller ones. They must be really difficult to paint, but very cool. Now this diorama was absolutely incredible. All the buildings are made from wood and the figures all hand painted. Everything was really, really well done. I'm not sure who done it because I couldn't find anyone around the table to chat with or any signs. So if anyone knows who made this, Please let me know in the comments and I'll put them in the description as soon as I get that information. But it's pretty incredible. If we have a look inside it, there's kind of a German unit about to attack an American unit. Very nice indeed. I believe it's probably in France by the looks of it. Here we have the IPMS South Somerset Model Club. The guy here really was nice to chat to. We had a little chat about all his tabletop game models and he had some Warhammer things. Loads of different kind of categories of models at this place. Not just tanks, you've got Warhammer, modern vehicles, dioramas, you name it, there to see. So I do recommend this. We'll have a look at his table. Tractor. So here's his Warhammer, very cool. Tabletop standard, he says it, that's what the painting was. I asked him how difficult it was to paint, and he said these are only tabletop standard, they're not professional standard. So I'm not sure what that means, but I think they look pretty professional to be honest. Nice work. I love this table, this was just for fun modelers. And they had some really cool, quirky models. As you can see, the Pringle can being kind of surveyed by some engineers. The tuna thing with the shark coming out and the submarine coming out of the John West mackerel can. I think it's mackerels. Let's go with mackerels. And they had some serious dioramas, so it's really cool. I did get every single table in this because it was so many to look at. So I do recommend you guys come along to this. It's on every year. Do have a look. Then we've got the Das Boot which is very good. And then the Lost in the Desert, which I liked. There's their details there. You go Lost in the Desert, which is very clever. 
and Das Boot. Then we had the Solent Meccano Club, which is a moving Meccano Tiger 131. Very nice. Incredible amount of effort has gone into this. The tracks weren't Meccano, they were hinges because the guy said it would be too expensive to make it all out of Meccano. And as you'll see in a minute, it fires a Nerf bullet, which scared the crap out of my wife, which was quite funny. Here it comes. I didn't catch her screaming, unfortunately. That woman's getting out of the way. She's about to get shot. Here we go. Bosh. Very cool. Love it. As you head outside, you've got the Southern Armour Group. These are the remote control tanks. It's quite a busy little area. All the kids love these and the adults. I mean, I love them. This tiger is so cool. Smoke coming out of it. Makes um, noises and engine noises and shouting and all sorts. Very cool watching these go round. In a minute, you'll see one going onto a truck. I'll leave you with the noises. Last but not least, we had the Think Scale Electrics. I gave my wife a game at this. It was a game or a race? I suppose a race, and unfortunately, I lost. And so, Yellow takes an easy victory. Oh, there we go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, after being called a loser, we headed on home. Do check out the Southwest Model Show next year. I'll put all the details in the description below. If you're new around here, don't forget to subscribe and like. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.